hello hello um i'm gonna make a kind of grungy quick journal today or over the next couple of days um what i've i have loads of um odd papers that i've i've just done a bit of a shelf clear out and these are all papers that i got off the shelf um they are literally full size papers that are folded in half tea dyed some of them are thicker than others there are tea dyed papers, um, the front of an organ music book, um, some old, this is quite fragile, so I'm not 100% sure it's gonna hold in the book. And I'm not gonna, you know, reinforce the spine for this particular journal. Um, some paper that was gifted to me, some really cool book pages. Um, this came from the lovely Chantelle LePage. Hi, Red Page Cafe. Um, another book page. This one came from Michelle the Dude Scott. Um, I love this book page. Absolutely love this book page. Um, more music paper and that's going to be my centre. I don't know if I'm going to decorate any of the pages as yet, but these are just literally pages that I've just pop, popped together, folded in half, and they're going to be my signature. Um, I have... This was for a previous project that I never actually finished. It's a piece of net curtain and somewhere I do have the rest of this. So I need to find that out because this is quite fun. And I literally just covered it with inks and rubbed it around my glass board. So I've got this lovely grungy kind of look to it. I have this small piece of dyed. Um, what is this? thin thin cotton that I've also dyed and that's going to be my outside spine and this is going to be the cover of my journal and it's a thick envelope again I got this in happy mail from Sophie from China thanks Sophie um, and this what I've done is I've cut the square base off and that's going to be that's going to be sewn that side but this side I'm going to leave this pocket so that's going to remain a pocket. So I'm not going to be doing anything um, too complicated. I'm just going to have a lot of fun with this. So all, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some blue paint. I'm going to put this on. I have a small roller and I'm just going to roll it in. It's not going to be completely sh um, seen because obviously the fabric is going to be covering this up. Okay, so I'm now going to do the inside in exactly the same way.
but what I want to do is just darken this up on the inside, give it a bit of grunge. I'm going to be using the black um, eye zinc ice, and this is the Seth Apter colour, just on the inside. So I'm going to pop a little bit on my board. I'm going to go in with a stencil and I'm just going to spray through it so it's not going to be a very accurate kind of stencil at all but I'm going to use a distress ink just going to go through I'm going to take a wipe and just dab that in so you just get a kind of hint of the stencil but not just love that and I'm just going to turn it over to do a little bit on this side so this is going to be the inside and it's possibly going to be seen so this is the side that I'm concerned about this side is going to be covered with our lace so we're not really going to see much there however we've got some really bright spots of blue coming through so I might need to just ink this a little bit So this has taken a bit of a hammering now. It's quite, um, it's going to take a while to dry, especially the um, eye zinc ice. It does stay sticky until it's dry. So that needs to go um, overnight. I just want to double check that that's going to be the front. So I want to double check that I'm not going to have too many really bright blue spots showing through my fabric. A little bit's fine. Um, I think I might need a little bit more ink here just to darken that up a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I just want a little bit of blue peeking through, um, but on the whole I wanted that quite grungy. So I'm quite happy with how this is turning out. Um, what I, I do think I want to add um, some stamping but what I want to do is ink these edges I was thinking about paint maybe let's see if we can just go in with our spray most of this is going to be sewn together so it's not going to be really visible this off a little bit um, I've got my black archival ink for this and also a selection of my set stamps and I'm gonna just have a little 
stamp about, I think, without thinking too much about what I'm doing because this is going to be just a grungy, fun So since we're on a bit of a Seth roll, I'm going to use my eyes ink dye spray. Right, I'm quite happy with that. This is exactly what I was going for, this kind of look for the inside. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cut my let me just double check that's my front this is the front cover so I'm going to put on my rather dyed fabric and I'm just wondering whether I should have I don't think I'm going to sew that flap okay I'm just going to trim. I'm going to leave about five mils all the way round, five millimetres, is about a quarter of an inch, I'm guessing. Okay, um, the only thing I'm concerned about is uh, I'm going to have to trim a little bit here so I can sew my front cover. Um, what I'm going to do is, so the next, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just glue this lightly into place before I sew. And I'm also, so I can sew all the way around, I'm going to trim off about a centimetre of this inside cover. I'm going to glue it down here so we've still got the, the colour. Um, but I'm then going to be able to sew down there without sewing this flap shut. So that's something I could have thought about beforehand, but you never do, do you? I don't, anyway. So um, thanks for watching. I'll be back with part two soon. So this dried overnight, this was still slightly, you know, if I rubbed it, I had a little bit of residue. So I've given it a coat of crystal clear. It's slightly glossy, but to be perfectly honest, because of everything I'd put on it, especially the eye zinc, you didn't really notice that at all. So this is the cover so far. I also gave it a little spray of crackling campfire just to... 
I don't know I just think it needed a little something so you've got little blobs of the orange now and I made a couple of roses which will probably go on the cover somewhere I just haven't really decided exactly what to do with that as yet so what I decided was I was actually going to make this journal a little bit more decorative let's say than I had originally planned so I'm going to take a page and we're going to decorate a page today somebody's playing a bit of ABBA outside <laughs> I'm going to grab this page I think I'm going to leave the the other the journal pages open I'm going to work on this page I have some of these um I did a huge box of cut out bits and pieces when I sat in front of the telly one night just made holes in things to make um, some bits and pieces to decorate with and I thought we would do something with this now I'm not sure that I'm going to use the full page definitely going to use this side I might tear a little bit of this off um, you can see I've had a little play with some ink on this side so what I'm gonna do I've got my this is a calligraphy ink and it's in a fine tip applicator bottle I have my little blowy tooly thing and what I'm, I'm gonna actually give this a very light spray just a couple of very light sprays and I'm gonna take my ink and just go around some of these circles it doesn't matter if it's not perfect and now what I'm going to do is go in with my blower quite like that it does need to be dried before I can do anything and the ink takes a little while to dry I think what I want to do is actually um, tear some of this off so it's not such a flat edge and I actually want to lose some of that circle that looks much better to me now I'm going to put this on my page but I want to break this up a bit so I've got my stamp this is a Tim Holtz stamp I'm gonna just apply some ink I'm using a distress ink because I'm gonna add some water to this let's go I'm just trying to check where my holes are gonna line up so I'm gonna put one there put a stamp there and I think I'm going to put a stamp here right I'm just going to give this a quick dry now I'm going to sew here so I want something here on the reverse so I'm just going to quickly dab this down like that and back to this side I'm going to take the other stamp in that set which is slightly bigger just quickly work out where I need to stamp and then I think I'm going to add some there and there on that side now what I want to do is just add a little bit of water to blur some of this. I don't want it to look too perfect everywhere. Give that a little bit of a run. I love the look when it starts to bleed. So I love, I love it, I love it. And I like the fact that this ink is bleeding through too because I've made it wet. Now... <clears throat> 
this is going to go on here we have a circle there that's quite plain I'm going to try and add something behind it I've got a piece of grungy fabric here now I'm gonna I only want that circle covered I'm gonna bring it down a little bit because I think I'm gonna have a little bit hanging over the top take my pencil and I just want to make a little mark where it's going to hang outside of that circle and now what I'm going to do if I can get it to work is I'm going to draw across here and I'm just going to sew that with my machine which way round did that go <laughs> Right, that's slightly thick, but that's okay. Quite like it. Right. And take my glue, just lift that. And Would have been better if I'd have done that in a different colour fabric uh, thread. But it's it's black so we'll go with it i'm just going to glue around here so this is probably rather inspired by southern gal southern gal i'm sure that's the right name really been enjoying watching her videos recently there we go I, I'm quite happy with that quite happy with that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch along here and I'm also going to just make a stitched frame on this side I'll be right back grab my journal this is going to go in here I think I need something along there let me find let me find something thought that would be quite fun yeah I like that I'm just gonna dry this before I close it I definitely have a thing for circles recently using them a lot I've already done a few little pages in here little things see if I can find them with some of those um, this I wanted to add something to just think that's quite interesting what else did I add? I only added a couple of little things while I was kind of waiting for the cover to dry. So I added this one here. Oh, and this one here. Um, this was a little bit of ink. I got a little ink splot on there from my board. So I just added a little bit. I've also added a, a little bit of the blue and orange because again I got that onto my board and it transferred to the page so I thought I may as well go with that I have some of this packaging paper I have so much of it I want to use some I'm just going to tear a few pieces off Now I want these dark and I want them inked. So I'm gonna spray some ink on my, um, water on my board. Right. 
right have these I will I've got a little strip of photographs I'm gonna cut now I want a little bit of fabric under here blue um, this was done on my gel press this is um, I did this quite a long time ago as a mop-up um, and it worked quite well so I carried on I want this section here I think this a little bit of an ink a little bit and the same with this piece of fabric just to take the white off that bit of glue here I'm using the art glitter glue because I've actually had some pretty good success with it on fabric if it's not too heavy if it was a heavier fabric then I would be using my Fabri-Tac this is also going to be sewn so it's going to be nice and secure her into place now what I think I'm going to do obviously now I have already gone to the point of no return I'm not going to waste this ink I'm just going to cover the image up and just put a little bit of orange over my fingers as you can see so that one's okay this one I want a little bit different in as much as I like, I want this grey. On there, but I think it still needs a little something behind here. these two pieces like that so I'm going to grab my glue I'm really sorry I'm not in a particularly chatty mood today I'm in a kind of concentrate mood especially if it's something that you're not confident in doing without concentrating on it to try and make sure you get it right right what I'm going to do is I'm gonna sew a circle around these and I'll be back those are done and when I said circle I used the term extremely loosely because they are not circles at all <laughs> but they're close enough they're close enough for this what I'm going to do is pick a couple of pages to add these to
and then find somewhere for the other one. That's a couple of pages done. Really love this page, really do. I know it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but I love that page and I love the back too. Really happy with that, but I think we need still something more here. And our two little photographic elements. And then of course, the other side to that and this is perfect for somebody to add something there so it's coming along it's it was going to be just a one-parter it was going to be me making the cover and then sewing in the signature job done um, however I think it's now going to be a two-parter and maybe we will do something else on the cover and decorate another couple of pages next time thanks for joining me I hope you're enjoying it it's not exactly what I had planned, but it's coming along. I will see you all soon. Bye.